Hey Aquarius, how y'all doing? It's your girl Rude. Welcome back to your part of Time to Die. It's Aquarius tone now. And uh, yeah, so uh, it's probably going to be part one and part two. As y'all can see the title, we're talking about Frankenstein. And we're not talking about the one that everybody knows from the movies right now. We're talking about a man called, um, what's his name? Uh, Giovanni Aldin. Okay. First, let me say a little bit about y'all, Aquarius. Y'all, um, people say y'all have a mind like aliens. Okay. And Uranus is tilted to the side. They believe that because Uranus is like, I do what I want to do when I want to do it. Okay. All uh, kind of detached, like to be alone, um, not emotional, but you know, y'all have feelings, y'all care. Uh, very smart genius, like, you know, people. Uh, the water pouring of the sign. It's a female on there, but it can be male, which we're in the age of Aquarius. So it's like exposing and pouring out the bad, like Furbu, my girl Furburn says, the dramas are doing, and uh, also pouring in the knowledge and information. Okay. Sometimes we overthink because I am a, a Sag, uh, I am Aquarius in Saturn. Um, let me see. I'm trying to find out what house that is. Do, 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 do. Of course, I can't find it, but anyway, so yeah, uh, so I kind of know how y'all think, okay? Uh, so yeah, about him, he was uh, he was an electrobiologist, okay? And I have never heard of that before, okay. <laughs> And he experimented on corpus, corpse, dead people, using electricity. He first started off using it on plants, and he noticed that the plants were reacting when he put the electricity with it, okay? So he was the one that insp inspired the um, electro for heart and the deep brain simulation. Okay, he even uh, did this on a, a guy who had depression and mental illnesses. And the guy started getting better. He got so better that he uh, he left the institution that he was in. Okay, isn't that interesting? Why are they not doing that? Are they overdoing it? What one, one or two. Okay, he used batteries to get the man to open his eyes. And he put one in his, uh, the batteries in his ear and another one in his rectum. Okay, and his legs begin to move. Okay, this was a dead corpse. When he found out from his uncle and aunt that animals respond, this is when he first started doing it, respond to the, um, it was zinc, uh, it was silver, zinc, and uh, we'll come to it. I can't remember what it was. Uh, the electricity. He wanted to get, you know, he wanted to explore with his family. That's how he realized that electricity is how arms and legs function. So if the brain don't have electrical, getting food or anything electric, sometimes that's why we feel this pain inside of our body because, you know, they make our food in the, in the lab, so they're taking all of it out because they already know how the world, how everything works. So that's why we're having this pain because electricity is not all going all the way down to our feet. So, you know, it's, it's stopping. It's, they put all this other crap in there that, that puts, goes inside of us that messes up our insides and stop the flow, okay? This helps when your arms and legs are uh, in pain. You can make sure you eat electrical foods, otherwise it might get stiff, okay? Remember Dr. Sabi was talking about electrical foods? If y'all don't know him, y'all check him out. Okay, electro science. This is... Uh, what he's calling it okay uh copper and iron produces electricity okay with no static or electricity no storm uh storms or machines like they say in the movie okay it wasn't nothing about that he just used copper and dr Sabi stressed copper so much from uh, uh violet the uh the scientist that we're talking about 1800 paper zinc silver okay zinc a silver a 
acid plus base is needed also. Okay, but he didn't, you know, he didn't put that in there. Invented the battery. Electric shock theory cured and a mental patient of depression and mental illness. Remember, I was telling y'all about that. Electrolytes. The process where electricity is used to make a chemical change happen that wouldn't happen otherwise. Okay? So I went to this... Um, Okay, let's go. Let's go back to him. Because I kind of got fascinated by this guy's um, theories and his uh, patterns and everything that he did. Okay. Yeah, so he uh, started getting so... He went into the obituary, okay? I mean, a, a, a cemetery or, or the funeral home. He started doing electric electricity on the heads and... You know, he was really fascinated, and he was, um, oh, shoot. He started um, doing it on human heads. He started doing, oh, come on, man. He started doing, seeing that the legs and everything would move when he do the electricity. He started doing it on bull heads. He did that first. And uh, it says, uh, in regard to the female of tail, I had before discovered and put publicified in memories where I found myself obligated to combat the pretendant animal electricity and declare it an external electric electricity move by mutual contact of metals of different kinds i had deferred let me see if i can get it bigger uh so he was fascinated with everything okay so he started um doing it on different things you know i'm trying to see him okay anyway <clears throat> So I was interested in that, what he was doing, and I took it a little farther. I see they got the magazine is talking about his electricity and what he did. So he was, like I say, a biochemist, and people started doing the experiments he did uh, with the pennies and, and the uh, fall, which is the silver, okay, showing all different stuff. So I was thinking about the Egyptian gods, okay? When I explained on one of the uh, time to die, when they were saying about the the robots that were they're making up today in electric electronics that they're doing, making the robots, the female robots for the man and female to help our house. All the all the um, how do you say it, uh, what is it, technology that they're doing today and they're making of people, you know, the sex robots and so on. And how back in the day, the day, one part was Zeus sent a woman down here uh, with a, a Pandora's box to punish men because he was mad at one of his servants uh, that gave the secrets the fire to the humans to help him out. Anyway, he sent the robot down here so you couldn't have any sex. And it was another one um, where uh, they sent, when I was told a story uh, of them sending the robot, one man, well, the one that he punished, he had, when he was doing his experiment, because he was experimental man, kind of like the guy on Batman who makes all Batman stuff. And uh, so he made all the inventions. He made the, the gates of heaven's gates to open and close. He made the chariot for them to to, uh, to that go by itself to give the foods to the gods. He made some ladies that he um, he created that they would help him out and they could talk and they had the minds of gods and goddesses. And, you know, different. they sent one down here. And I'm assuming that's where that Thor, when that big old uh, uh, robot came that was run by um, his brother. Thor's brother, similar to that down on Earth. So what I was telling you about the sorcerer, uh, 
help the, the guys out to be, you know, to be superheroes like Superman or super, uh, has superpowers in order for the robots not to hurt them. So anyway, it's in my other, you know, the other things that I have, um, and the other signs, okay? But anyway, I was thinking about them with the Egyptian gods, and I was thinking about, um, and I've seen a map to see a video on my thoughts as well. And it even explored it more. You know, I take it and I run with it. And uh, I was thinking about the Egyptian gods and Osiris. Okay, by him being dismembered by his brother, right, Set. And it's like, um, okay, that's kind of suspicious, right, when you think about it. And his wife took all of his parts. Remember Set? Uh, horn deity. Okay, that's. We're going to go to that one in a minute. But, um, yeah, I got so much info, I tell y'all. Something. And uh, he went to, okay, his wife, um, Isis, went to um, put all his pieces back together. So it's like pieces back together, brought it back together. That sounds like he wasn't human, that he had to be a robot. When you think about it, you know what I'm saying? It's like, was he a robot or was he an actual person, you know, and to be putting it together. So I was thinking about, well, what was the pyramid, you know, houses for batteries, houses for electricity. You know, I had heard that years ago that there were electricity and, and uh, things that go up and, and, and I, didn't, I thought it went up into space for some reason or something. And uh, this man was talking about it, and I'm trying to see where I was, oh my goodness. And he was talking about it, and they're fascinated, and like, you know, thinking like I am as well. It's like, uh, were they, like the, trend, uh, what's their name, um, Transformers, were they actual uh, robots then? You know what I'm saying? For her to be putting him back together you know, and and uh, was the pyramids houses for batteries, like I said, just like the Ark of the Covenant. I heard that that was like a uh, an engine for, well, I heard two things. I heard it was like an engine for a spacecraft. And I also heard, and I'm, I'm thinking it was in a battery because it was, look how powerful it was, okay? It out, I thought that the, the creators rained down the food for the Egyptians, but they didn't. The food was in the Ark of the Covenant. So it was a, it was a stove, an ice box, I guess. And then also I found out that it also cleared the water for Moses. They showed us that he did it with a stick, but actually didn't. He did it with the Ark of the Covenant. So I'm thinking, I'm, and I'm looking through things, and I'm, I'm trying to find some kind of, uh, object that would uh so this is how it starts off i'm sorry that would be that powerful see how he's fixing him up you know and then she got a hand inside i mean it could be something else y'all but still it's you know a suspicion and then um you know the wait a minute it's him again and his brother and then dismantling of him. That looks like the parts of a robot. You know? It's like, was he a robot? Do Is it robots that's so deep? Now here it is that they're showing about maybe their theory of him being a robot when she put him back together. You know, it's just fascinating stuff. And look, she put her hand behind there. Okay. And then uh, all the onk like batteries that keep him energized while they hold him like they did you know what's it's like what's really going on then they say these pillars are like um like the battery thing they have today you know i forgot what they call it but it's like then she's putting her hand in his back see like she's winding it up or something you know what i'm saying it's the it's the the ox like the keep the energized and keep keep them going i don't know y'all i know it's far-fetched <laughs> i know it is i know it's far-fetched um 
uh, yeah, so I know it's kind of far-fetched, okay? And it's just like the arc, you know, it's kind of like, you know, make you think about what's really going on, you know what I'm saying? Why is they stressing so much now about the uh, technology, you know? Is that where we all, because we made, we have electricity in our body, so is that where we start started and where we're supposed to end at, you know? And it's so advanced that you couldn't tell about the skin, why the skin was put over. And then we thinking like, we're thinking like the body was made like tin and metal, something like that. But what if it was different kind that was di way different than what we can imagine that made them and made us, you know? So I would like to know more about it. You know, it's kind of interesting to me. And then uh, the machine that they use, I didn't find a machine yet that I thought would be appropriate to show um, that maybe the ark, when it went into the water and cleared the way for the Egyptians to pass through. And then I'm thinking that the water shot back out and that's how the, uh, the soldiers got drowned. I don't know, y'all, I'm just thinking. They put it in a, um, and then they put it in a garage-like place. Where is it at? Okay, I know I took a picture of that. Let me see. Where is it? Uh, yeah, they put it in like a garage-like place. Man, I know I took a picture of that. thinking you have everything together and then we get ready to do it it's not like you think okay wait a minute here we go okay it's a little bit more of them uh robot gods of of ancient you know who knows you know what i'm saying that theory kind of sounds pretty good okay that's what i was showing y'all that that okay putting the hand in there i'm trying to see Okay, see, it was like a garage, and, and like, uh, cause, and the fumes, come to find out, that was plutonium. That's why it killed people, and they have that in our, uh, the, what is the thing that's going around the earth, you know, that solar thing or whatever, and they hold the tablets in it as well, you know, just fascinating stuff. See, it was built something like that, then with different type of skin, uh, to hold it, you know, and they use like, uh, what do they say they use? They use, um, they put it in a garage like building. The skins was so, uh, so the smell one got out, I'm thinking. It was made of goat skin, they thinking maybe a cypress, mat, manite, dolphin, seals, you know, their skin are real rough, you know what I'm saying? Some kind of large creature. They don't know exactly. Just just theories. I mean, when they wanted to destroy the enemies, they simply let out the fumes, okay? So the fumes are so great. And then also, it was the light at night. So it had electricity in it for them to have light, and, and it was so powerful that they, they could see, okay? The arc, they said a stick did. Okay, yeah, but the arc parted the water. So what kind of alien machine was this to part waters. We see a lot of it today. Did the machine make the water split out behind them making the soldiers drown and the machine kicked it back out? Did it put a bridge across, you know, to help them out? I'm just, you know, an energy source or did they push the Ark of uh, Covenant like the people do on a carriage? When they say the men had to hold it where they like, you know, you got a carriage and they get in front and they pull it because it was just that big. It's bigger than what we think. You know, they're so mysterious till we can't actually see it. It's, you know, not until today. They, they claim they don't find it and they claim they find it. And, you know what I'm saying? Uh, was, like I say, was the uncle key or wind him up or to keep him energized? Or, you know, I'm just curious, y'all. <laughs> um, it says, uh, uh, what I put also. Uh, it says a jet peeler Osiris spine resembles a testicle of today, okay? 
a power pillar. We set, uh, if we set, if Seth killed Osiris, if they were robots with flesh, did he smash his penis? Because they're saying that Osiris, uh, 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 Isis couldn't mantle every part of him except for his penis. So she, some type of way, got his DNA or whatever, his sperm, and had a baby, Horus. Okay? That's so much technology and stuff that we just do not understand, okay? Because it was a metal. Crazy, huh? I can go out there. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know. Maybe this is why Dr. Savy, first person I heard this from, the electricity, talked about uh, alkaline, elect electrical foods, copper. Are we really robots with human flesh? I was thinking about back to Michael Jackson when he turned into a robot. Was that a clue? Because just think about it. If you're not eating certain foods, you feel low energy. Okay, I know it's a lot more than what I am saying, but it's all questionable, right? Is this why they are pushing the robots? Just thoughts, okay? You know, well, that's what I have for part one, <laughs> yeah. I know I can go out there. You know, research yourself, you know, just be inquisitive, you know? So this is your girl, Ruth, signing out. Would you like, subscribe, share, and comment? And I'm going to go ahead on to part two of my Frankenstein theory, okay? All right, y'all. Be right back. Like, subscribe, like, share, subscribe, and share. Like, whatever. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, bye, y'all. Be right back.